So let me do another example of a double integral in this lecture. Um, compute the volume of the surface z equals x squared y, the same surface as last time, above the xy plane with base given by a right triangle with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. So the difference here is that the base is a right triangle, but that makes the integral somewhat more complicated. And let me show you uh, how that works out. So uh, we should draw the base. So here's x and uh, y, and uh, 1 and uh, 1. So the rectangle, I mean not the rectangle, the uh, triangle looks like this. Um, we have two choices of how to integrate this. We can integrate x first and then y, or we can integrate y first and then x. So let me kind of sketch what we're doing here. So if we integrate x first, then we're going to be integrating along this direction first. So strips along x, and then we integrate along y. So if we integrate along x first, we have to specify the limits of integration. Um, here we're integrating x from 0 to this line. So we're going to have to know what is the x value on this uh, hypotenuse of the triangle. Um, so this is equal to x is going to be 0 when y equals 1, and x is going to be 1 when y equals 0. So this is 1 minus y. So the double integral here will be integrating over x squared y. We integrate x first and then y. And the limit of integration for x is that we start from x equals 0, and then we integrate to the hypotenuse, which is 1 minus y. And then finally, we do the y integral, which will be from 0 to 1. Okay. So the more difficult aspect of this formulation of integrating over the triangle is that now the inner limit depends on y. So you can write this integral as a product of an x integral and a y integral. You have to do the x integral first, uh, plug in the limits, and then do the y integral. Uh, we could have integrated along y first, so let me draw the picture for that. So x and y, and again we have our um, triangle, right, 1 and 1. Um, now we're going to integrate along y first, so let me draw the uh, first direction of integration. Um, we need to specify the limit that we integrate along y, so we're integrating from y equals 0 to this value of y. This value of y here is equal to 1 minus x. Okay, sometimes it won't be so symmetrical, um, but you need to specify the limits of the y integration. So here we're integrating x squared y, first dy, and then dx. And the y limit is from 0 to 1 minus x. And the x limit then goes from 0 to 1. Okay? Both of the integ these integrals will give the same solution. Okay, so uh, let's choose one of them and do it. Um, I think I want to integrate the second one because then it's a y dy. So it becomes a y squared. If we integrate the first one, we have an x squared dx. We have to deal with an x cubed. So a little bit easier to do the second one. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So we have the, um, the double integral from 0 to 1. 0 to 1 minus x. x squared y dy dx. Uh, integral from 0 to 1. So we integrate dy, that becomes y squared over 2. 
So I can factor out a one half, and then we have uh, x squared y squared, right? y squared over two. That goes from zero to one minus x dx. So the value of y goes from zero to one minus x. Uh, we can substitute that in. So one half, the integral from zero to one of x squared times one minus x uh, squared, right? Minus zero, the lower limit here is zero, and that will be dx. Okay, we just have a single variable integral left. Um, I, I think the easiest way to do that is just to expand this out into a polynomial. So one half the integral from zero to one. So this is, the first term here is one, so x squared minus two x minus two x cubed plus x squared plus x to the fourth dx. Okay, we can integrate the polynomial and then we can put in the limits right away. The lower limit will be zero. The upper limit is just one, so it's just the constants here. So we can do that without writing too much. So the integral of x squared is x cubed over three. So that will give us a one third minus the integral of x cubed is x four over four. So that will give us a minus two over four, which is minus one half. And then the integral of x fourth is x to the fifth over five, so that will give us plus a one fifth, okay? Um, we can put this under a common denominator, so that would be five times two times three, which is 10 times three, which is 30 times two, would be 60, so one over 60. And then, um, this one then would be two times five, would be 10. And then minus, uh, this one is three times five, so minus 15. And then this one is three times two, so plus six. Um, so this is uh, minus five plus six is a one, so this will just be one over 60. Okay, so let me uh, review the main point here. Um, we have a base now to integrate over where we have to take into account that the, the limits are not pure numbers, right? When we integrated over a square, we were just integrating from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. Now we need to integrate to this uh, hypotenuse. We can do the integral in two different ways. The x integral first, and then the inner limit will depend on y. Or we can do the y integral first, and then the inner limit depends on x. Otherwise, you just follow the same procedure of integrating the inner limit first, holding the variable of the outer limit fixed, and then finally integrating the outer limit. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.